I'm giving somebody the blues today. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have something interesting to talk about. So first I got this idea from a subscriber of uh, the channel. The Canary says, can you please talk about Tekken Mobile? Like I really missed that game. And I said, what, ex what aspect do you think I should cover? Um, and the Canary says basically that I should sort of talk about why the game um, Tekken 7 always makes these mobile games and then they, they put them up on the store and then they take them down, you know, right after, right? That's basically what um, Canary says. And I started to do research into that aspect, right? Why do they take things up and um, right back down? But that kind of led me in a different path and that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. Um, when, we, when we talk about Season 5 and DLC... Um, I, for the most part, am against them adding characters, adding more characters to the game. I feel like it's it's too much already, and I don't know if they should add more. But that sort of idea that I had for a potential update, I, I thought was really cool. So I wanted to talk about this in a video, and I wanted to sort of share my thoughts with you guys and see what you guys think, right? So... This could either be for a season five battle pass, but what I really think this can shine and this would be really cool if it was when Tekken 8 comes out, you know, once it's announced and all that, I think what they could do for that game, instead of just doing season passes that's like random, I think if they had a story um, expansion or like a themed season pass, like if you look at games like Fortnite or Call of Duty, when they do their passes, their season passes, it has a theme. You know, Call of Duty, they have the theme where it's Rambo and it's all the 80s action heroes or whatever. Um, Fortnite, I know they have like this alien thing going on right now. So something that I was thinking they could do for Tekken is sort of a Tekken mobile theme. And I know, I know it sounds kind of lame at first, but there's three characters that I think they can add that will make it amazing. It can be amazing. Tekken Mobile Season Pass. So let's start Let's start with uh, the, the one character, the first character. I think this character is by far the standout character when it comes to Tekken Mobile. Tekken Mobile introduced about six or seven new characters. Um, but the first one and the standout is Bo Montana. Now, Bo Montana is kind of a football player turned Marine. I'm going to quickly read his biography pulled from the Tekken Wiki. It says, Bo Montana, quarterback football player in college where he dominated the competition all over the states. He took his dedication to the military service. Bo had a perfect combat record until he was sent to fight Revenant. Now Revenant, I'm going to be talking about him in, the, in a second. This is another character I think would be excellent as DLC, but it goes on to say, his squad was ambushed and their life force was stolen by Revenant. Bo Montana now goes after Revenant to reclaim his friend's strength and complete his mission, right? So this Revenant person is kind of like a soul stiller, kind of is like a life force drainer he's like he takes people's lives basically and Bo Montana has a very um close battle with this character right so that's two of the characters the third character that I think could be added is Ogre now Ogre and Revenant have a very special relationship but I'm going to talk about that in just a second I'm just introducing you guys to Bo Montana and um Revenant right so Bo Montana his name is um kind of a combination of Tekken uh, legend. You have Bo, which comes from Bo Jackson, and you have Montana, which comes from Joe Montana, right? So they sort of took the Bo Jackson, Joe Montana, and they combined it to Bo Montana. Now, when people speak of this character, um, when people talk about this character in comment sections or just regularly, um, the, the name that he um, sort of was given, his like alternate name is is rodeo montana right so a lot of you guys may 
um, be familiar with this character is Rodeo Montana, but the actual name is Bo Montana, right? Um, but talking a little bit about Revenant. Now, the reason why I think Revenant is something special and would be a great addition to um, Tekken 7 or Tekken 8, one, because Bo Montana is sort of a hero. He's a good guy, right? Military, football, the standard hero. But then you have Revenant, who's this sort of real, like, evil doer like there's nothing worse than stealing souls right stealing souls and draining life forces that's like crazy right so i'm gonna read um revenant's bio now so it says revenant appears during kazuya and nina's match and steals their power via a huge black spear kazuya and nina join forces and recruit other fighters to defeat revenant and take back their power Revenant uses fighters known as Acolytes who are under his mind control to battle them. After Revenant was defeated, he summoned Ogre proclaiming that all the power he collected is now Ogre's. After being released from the giant spear, Ogre, who was impressed by the strength of the fighters, wanted them to join him, but they refused Ogre's offer and promised to fight him. With that, Revenant warns the fighters that they are no match for them before disappearing in the shadow light. Right. So let me let me break this down for you guys. So Kazuya and Nina, you know, they're having their run back for the 10,000th time. You know, they're fighting each other. You know, I'm going to kill you. No, I'm going to kill you. Right. And then Revenant shows up and Revenant sort of drains like once again he's draining light force he's i don't know if like i was trying to find videos of this stuff but you know as the comment said the game tekken mobile is no longer up so all i was able to do was you know look at youtube videos and things like that but i'm guessing he drains power and energy from all over the world and the world basically unites against him to sort of defeat him and in a last ditch effort he sort of brings ogre um whether it's back from the dead it's not really clear uh ogre did get killed and i believe taken three or four but he summons ogre and basically they retreat to sort of fight again and i think they can make this canon in tekken they can make this fight this thing play out because this is the thing about tekken 7 tekken 7 it ends um it ends uh, Heiachi is dead. Jin is sort of regrouping. Kazuya is trying to take over uh, the Mishima Zaibatsu, which currently Nina is in second command of under Heiachi. But since Heiachi is gone, it now falls to Nina. So this is what they could be fighting about if it was made canon. Kazuya is basically fighting Nina for control. And then Revenant shows up and, you know, basically does his thing. And then that kicks off like story dlc right and then you have the introduction of bo montana you have the introduction of revenant you have the introduction of ogre and then um basically you will have this story play out like it does in tekken mobile um but then as dlc you can maybe have um you know them team up and defeat ogre and revenant you know for good basically and then tekken 8 can takes take place right or they can show up after the Tekken 8 storyline, whatever they, that may be, because they retreat, right? Um, I know this is kind of like a what if scenario, a what could happen scenario, but I think just the, the Revenant character design is really something special. I don't know what it is about this character. I don't know if it's, um, if it's that the character looks similar to Kimball or Noob Saibot from the Mortal Kombat series. Two characters um, from Mortal Kombat series that I love a lot. Cabal was amazing in the Mortal Kombat movie. By far the best part. Um, followed up by... Kano. Yeah, he's the reason I live in an iron lung. He's a low-life piece of shit scumbag. You're gonna love him. But I think that sort of dark, evil perspective that Noob Saibot, um, Cabal, and kind of like Shang Tsung all mixed into one character in the form of Revenant. And I think something like that, that's like pure evil, 
also with him bringing back Ogre, which is another like villainous, pure evil character is like amazing. That would do um, not. OK, so this is why I think it would be so special, because there's a lot of people who want Ogre to, to return. That's scratching the Ogre itch. That's scratching the nostalgia. Um, you're introducing Tekken Mobile, making that canon, making that a part of the series. And then you're also giving people more characters, more unique designs. And that just leads sort of towards this, um, you know, big battle, basically. It really can sort of um, just what I want them, what I want them to do with the story in all these videos where I talk about story story. I basically want these guys to take it up a notch to not just focus on the Mishima clan, right? Heachi, Jin, Kazuya, Jinpachi, um, June, um, Kazumi or Kazami. What's her name? Kasami. I don't know, but I don't want them to focus on these same characters. I want them to, you know, go bigger with it. You have all these amazing characters you can throw inside the pot and really create something magical. You see Mortal Kombat is starting to do that. Whether you like the direction of the story or not, you can see them trying to um, introduce more characters and they're trying to get more characters involved. Every character can sort of have their spotlight and their time to shine. And I think that's something that Tekken should do. But I just want to talk about this because I think Revenant is a awesome looking character and i would love to sort of be able to play with this character i think if this character was added this is a character i would definitely um try out and try to play um seriously because there's a lot of characters like you know kunimitsu leroy fakaron where i played them for like a week or two and that was it but i think this can really go go somewhere you talk about making a season pass themed um like most games do Instead of just having it random things just plucked from everywhere, you can have a theme around it. Um, you have story DLC. You have characters. It, it, I see it as a win-win. There's no way they can go wrong unless they make the story boring and they make the characters broken. But that's it. I uh, just wanted to cover this in a video because I thought it would be very interesting to talk about. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this idea that I uh, sort of um, came up with. And I also do want to thank the Canary one more time for sort of leading me down this path. Even though this isn't exactly what the comment wanted, it still sort of, um, you know, encouraged me to, you know, take a deeper look into Tekken Mobile. Because a lot of people don't even know that game exists. So to be able to, you know, maybe share that with you guys. Uh, is something that uh, I enjoy, right? But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.